We'll move on to the next one. This guy, this next guy doesn't like you, TJ. Good. <laughs> and he came up with the most creative name for you. No one else has ever come up with this before. Wait, let me let me guess. Let me take a few guesses. It's either the the well, it's either like the not so amazing atheist, the, uh, the, the unamazing atheist, the amazing, the amazing idiot. idiot, the amazing <laughs> faggot, the amazing moron. What is it? It's the unamazing uh, oh, it's the atheist. unamazing all the atheist. unamazing atheist. Uh, yes, what a shock! How original! I never heard it before. Wow. Yeah, and this is a criticism of one of your videos. It's the how to come out as an atheist video. Oh, okay. Oh, it's a black guy. You guys made it back. Congratulations. Brutally, Welcome and his name is black. Honest. That's double oh black. God, that your is host the worst Tim black. green screen I've ever Today seen I got a special life. for you. Yeah, his really? I mean, I've seen, seen worse. Irrefutably. <laughs> well, what? It's pretty bad. <laughs> yeah, it's bad. I Tim mean, Black, some advice. Like, le learn to light. You need more light. <laughs> Yeah, well, you know, he's black. It's harder to do green screen with black people. It's I, not, it's not, it's, no, it's not, but I mean, I'm just trying to give him an out. I'm just trying to throw the guy a fucking rope, you know? TJ, I'm afraid you are now racist. Oh, okay, I'm sorry. I didn't mean to be. The, yeah, yep, he, there he goes, the amazing racist. His, uh, his, the, the border, the periphery of his person is very pixelated, you know? There's, very. there's tools in your editor that will actually, like, feather that out a little bit. Yeah, you so. blur it. You just blur it to, like, .48 or whatever. That's all you gotta do. Right, you know? And then, and then you can solve that little problem. Now, yeah. I, I, I personally, I tried to do the green screen thing, and it sucked. I, I fucking got sick of it, real sick of it really fast, but... <laughs> I know you do it, and it works pretty well for you. But you, yeah. you don't you, you don't move around like I do in videos, though. So. <laughs> no, that's true. I don't I don't do the rocking thing either. So yeah. So let's uh, this guy. I mean, I can already tell this is gonna be painful. So I'm just kind of trying to, you know, stall for time. But all right, <laughs> let's let's do it. Noxious, pompous, fuckhead on YouTube. Right. Or at least one of them. One of them. He is none other than. The Amazing Atheist. The Amazing, <laughs> That's right. Atheist. The amazing Atheist. Some of you guys might not know who he is. Well, let me tell you this. Yeah. They they know who you are, but they don't know who the I am. The Amazing Who? That makes sense. We all know who TimTheBartender.com is. Everyone knows Tim the Bartender. No one knows The Amazing Atheist. He's been on YouTube since about 2006. Doing the same thing. Complaining. Wait. <laughs> What is what is he what is he doing now? He's, yeah, he's what? he does the same thing I do. He's just a fucking he's a, he's a guy on camera ranting about shit. I he's was just, just complaining about you instead well, of right. complaining about him. Right, exactly. So I don't understand the where the I mean like if you live in a glass house, don't throw fucking stones, right? I mean, isn't that just common sense? I don't know. Complaining about the proof that there is a god and the disproof that there isn't a god. I'm lost. That's his shtick. Shtick. Amazing Atheist. Well, the reason why I'm doing this video about Amazing Atheist is... <sighs> other than... Did it look like he's... It looks like he's taking a piss right now. <laughs> or, or he's jerking off. He can be jerking off. I, yeah, I think he's playing that's, with his big black dick. That's what I look me. like when I'm taking a piss. Hey, Tim the bartender, I am available for whatever <laughs> you... You know, like, I don't hold this video against you, so... If you're, you know, I can see that you're clearly grabbing your dick and enjoying yourself right now, thinking about me. So, you know, let's take this to the next level, man. We don't have to be coy. We don't have to be reserved. It's the fuck. It's 2000. Um, what what year is it? 2015 or 14? There's, there's no okay. shame at all. I don't. I don't fucking give a shit about years or dates or months anymore. I just it all. You, you don't say. Way. Did you ever? No, I never did, but even like I, I used to at least know what year it was at any given time. <laughs> quick quick it quick fucking totally aside. One time like I forget what we were doing, like it was some professional thing and me and TJ were there and it's like, Oh, how old's your brother? And like I'm at the time I'm nineteen, and TJ's like, Oh, my brother's thirteen. <laughs> Are no, you was, fucking like, serious? Yeah, I was like, uh no, that's not correct. I'm actually nineteen. <laughs> did you have like did you have like hair on your face at that point? Yes. It's like what? <laughs> I was like, were you being serious fuck? or were you I, fucking around? Yeah, I was. But I mean, like, I just didn't That's think about it. That's how bad TJ is with know, years. Just the, so dates. Yeah, Thirteen-year-old can't grow a beard, TJ. Not, not usually. I don't care. Okay. Well, the fact TJ, I you're, love doing you're headed toward we, you're headed toward thirty at this point, aren't you? Oh shit. Yeah. I, how old are you, Zonstar? <laughs> <laughs> oh. 
<laughs> yeah, see, you know what you you know what you're just saying about glass houses? Yeah, that, yeah. that's me right now. <laughs> <laughs> Shit, because I do. Is he made a video recently called "How to Come Out as an Atheist"? Uh huh. And I first thing I said to myself is, "Who the fuck is this guy talking to? <laughs> Who's this guy giving advice to?" Okay, pause then it. I really I'm giving, I don't know, this, it might, I don't know how it's not clear from the title, but I was giving advice to people who are atheists, but have not yet admitted it to their friends and family. That's who I was talking to. I would think it would be obvious from the title alone, but apparently it's not. It looks like he's putting on some moisturizer or something right now. Yes, it does. <laughs> this dude is like the best person to stop and like just pause the video, because like, he's like, like, first like he was jerking off, now he's putting like, like um, exfoliating his face or something. Or Not to mention that the, the weird lighting he's got going on makes his head look like a potato. <laughs> I'm actually Mr. Seen, potato Head I've actually seen the and stock. a bucket of parts. <laughs> I've actually seen the stock footage he's using before on sites. Yeah, you know. It's actually, that's not a green screen. He's actually that's at that Fox location. That's the Fox News newsroom right there. Yeah, he's there. It's, it, you know, it, it may look like a green screen, but it's not. He's just, if you actually see him in real life, his edges are pixelated like that. Realize <laughs> <coughs> this guy's demographics are like 16 to 26. Okay. And I'm Wrong. thinking, no. he's probably talking to some very impressionable people, trying to tell them what the <laughs> fuck to do with their lives, how the fuck to live their lives. And I said, no, I can't let this stand. I can't let it stand. I got to give him the business. I can't let so this he, stand. He wants to give you the business. This injustice mm. will not be. TJ, he's, saying, he's all right. You let him give you the business. Yeah. Right? Tim the bartender, come. This either sounds like Tim the, the bartender business. wants to fuck you or have a wrestling match with you. Come Maybe give both. me the business, Tim. <laughs> come give me the business. Oh, hey man. I always thought he'd make a really good like back at like he'd make a really good WWE wrestler. Like he'd be like the yeah, one of those guys that Cena. they just send out there to, to take the fall. You know, at least he, oh, he's a jobber. <laughs> Or he no, could at least be the manager. I was always going to say, know? if TJ was a right. wrestler, TJ reminds me of Goldust. Just the way I Goldust. You'd be a good Mr. Goldust wrestler, TJ. Mr. Interviewer, is that I'd a be... microphone in your pocket, or are you just happy to see me? <laughs> <laughs> I could be Goldust. Stardust. There's already a Stardust. What, el what, other, what other kind of dust is there? Well, that's Goldust, brother. Right. You could be Moondust, TJ. Moondust. Yeah, there we go. Do it like, Don't you remember? That's moon one of the big dust. creationist arguments, that, there, that, there's moon, that the dust on the moon... Is really thin, therefore oh, God. Yeah. yeah. Right. <laughs> therefore God is the conclusion to a lot of their you arguments. You mean that's wrong? Come on. All right. Uh, so more of this guy, TJ. He's ready to give you yeah the business. business. Here is the business. Okay. Whip on it what out. What planet does he live on? Where he thinks it's a good idea for a kid who lives at home with his parents to tell his parents, "Hey, mom and dad, thanks a lot for all the shit you've done for me." And I know I'm still living under your roof and you're still feeding me and clothing me and providing shelter for me and all those other good things. Keeping the heat on, my cable on, and my internet connection on. But you know what? Fuck you and all the shit you've given me. Let me what? not take a shit on all. That's awesome. <laughs> Fuck you, mom and dad. I don't need your shit. Look at, look at him still now. <laughs> yeah, that's, again, the perfect place to He's like video. choking himself with his tie. He's into so, auto, uh, erotic asphyxiation. This dude is literally the best person to stop. So wait, I've ever seen ever. So wait, so if you're if if you basically if you have a different religious belief than your parents, then you're disrespecting them and everything they've ever done. For yes, you. correct. Yes, and also I think isn't he trying to make the the he's trying to say well since you were created by God and you're on earth and you're enjoying your time on earth, that you're disrespecting God by not believing in him? Is he also saying that? I don't, I don't know. know. I don't even know where this guy sits on the whole theism thing, but he hates TJ. And Let's he wants take to a look. Business. Maybe it'll become more clear but as TJ, the business. And people in the chat are saying, further. oh, he's an obvious troll. I'm you, like, I don't think so. You no, guys, no. You guys, no, that's not. I, you guys can both wear ties and choke each other with them. Ooh. That'll be fun. You can have a tie match. Ooh. Whoever removes the tie, like like for, like first wins. So you have to remove, try to remove his tie. Tries to remove yours. Mm. You ever, you know, you, they have uh, the first blood matches, or they used to anyway. Ooh, fuck yeah! So I was thinking we could have the first cum match. <laughs> <laughs> Whoever comes first. Yeah. All that. What the fuck? He's just he's gonna shit he's on you. TJ. This is him summarizing. How his is point. that a good idea, amazing dumbass? <laughs> I don't it's not know. a good idea because you know what? 
that guy that you just told to tell his parents to go fuck themselves is probably going to be looking for a place to stay Wait next a minute. to you. Wait a minute. You, you I specific wait. Prick. I specifically say PJ. in that video that if you like you need to feel your parents out first and kind of like try to determine what their reaction is going to be ahead of time. So it's yep. not like I just say like no. Just come out to your parents. No, just do it. Room, walk in the room exactly. with the mic and I've, be like I've made I've made uh, videos on this topic once or twice before too and that's exactly what I say too. And the first thing I also talk about is is about like co paying for college. If someone's parents are paying for college and you're going to you're going to go ahead and tell your parents, oh, I don't believe in this crap. And then your parents are going to, uh, your parents might take away your college education. And that is right. serious Extort, shit. You got to extort some money out of them first, you know? Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> no, no. I'll, I'll, I, my advice was if you're a teenager and you're, you know, you're an atheist, you just go in the room and say, hey, mom and dad, God's bullshit. Evolution. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Evolution, I'm out. Evolution, ow! And then, and then you need to drop your pants, take a massive shit on the fucking carpet, and be like, <laughs> "This is just to let you know how serious Rub I am." Rub it in with your shoe, uh, like clean that up, mom. No, Fuck just you, open mom. the Bible to your your mother's favorite passage and verse, and take a big shit on that. Even better, and make sure it's diuretic too, so it completely <laughs> covers the page. And then make sure you vomit on it too. Holy just shit, TJ! I think this guy has a point. Then, yeah. If you said all this, horrible yeah, I shit, did. I said that. I said you all are that. very unamazing. I know, right? The amazing dumbass. Now I gotta admit, at the end of the video, amazing atheist does admit that. He admits, hey, if you got an idea that maybe your parents might not take it so well, then maybe you don't need to tell them. You got them right. You don't need to tell them. You know what? There are people. Who live hundreds and hundreds of miles away from their parents, who feel who feel no reason that they need to re be rebellious enough to tell their parents, eh, I don't really believe God. How, what is it? It's really not a God. fucking act. It's not a fucking act of rebellion, you dipshit. <laughs> he's, he's it's not like it is, yeah. <laughs> he's saying is it as if as if that that were the only reason you do it. Like you're just doing it to be you know to be counterculture or something. <laughs> it's, it's like. Yo, mommy, dad, I'm an atheist. Deal with it. Huh. Evolution. Like, Evolution. Just like them homosexuals. Big it's bang. All, it's all just for show. It's all fake. Guess what, mom and dad? On spring break, I pierced my dick and became an atheist. <laughs> <laughs> and sucked cock. Dun, dun, dun. I sucked him, the bartender's dick. Are you seeing spring something break. come from nothing? Exactly. I know cum can come from a penis. That's all I know. <laughs> Well, none of that shit. Sorry, not for me. Peace. Look. Let's pa let's just pause no him at random sure times shit. and see what else he does. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> <laughs> All right, here we go. Five, right. four, no three, one. two, nope. one. Oh, that, that one sucks. That one one sucks. except maybe Tom Cruise, Tom Cruise, the Taliban, Taliban, and Jehovah Witnesses are sure of anything when it comes to religion. All the rest of us are just going on. <laughs> that kind of works. He's like, what's going on? No there, one knows. That, there he kind of looks like a reverse Uncle Fester. A reverse? <laughs> yeah, you know. He's like, you should have seen the size of her. Oh, yeah, yeah exactly. right there. He's grabbing the melons. Faith! <laughs> okay. <laughs> The people who you don't believe in that, 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 that was the name of that was the name of the stripper he was talking that they about. Believe. <laughs> but all of us have these little kernels of what I would call doubt. Doubt. You know, especially when some really bad shit happens, you're like, I really doubt anybody's looking out for me. And sometimes when shit goes well, when shit goes good, you go, I doubt that uh, that this shit could go well without somebody looking out for me. What? Kind of works to both the same way. You understand what I'm saying? No. But no. the amazing atheist wouldn't be able to provide for that home that he has, the car that he drives, off the YouTube money that he makes if he was to tell the fucking truth, which is he don't know any more shit than you do. Okay. I, I'm, no, no, hold on, hold on. I'm, I'm willing. I'm, you know, I'll admit that. I mean, I don't. I can't definitively prove that there's no God. I never have claimed to be able to prove that. I've even said that I've even made numerous videos stating that I can't prove that. Mm -hmm. But I mean, it's not a matter of having to disprove some crazy like the only thing that makes the idea that there is a God plausible in some people's minds is the fact that so many people already believe it. And also every situation is unique. So, of, of course, one video can address how one person could deal with <laughs> their parents. You know, right. When when you're talking about the broad spectrum 
you know, if if your if your parents are ministers or something like that, of course you probably wouldn't want to come out as an atheist to them. Yeah, at least not while you're still in any way dependent on them. My right. parents are very liberal Catholics, and when I came out as an atheist to them, they were fine with it. So, when uh, when TJ came out as an atheist, then then like mom cried or something like I failed as a parent. Yeah, she yes. did. She cried, and then she said, "I failed as a parent." I don't remember I was lucky. making a video about that, TJ. Have you ever made a video he did, about he did. that? He actually did. Yeah. Yeah, he did. Uh, I, think I've, I've, I think I've mentioned it in videos. I don't know if it's ever been the focus no. of a I was lucky because TJ already did that. They're like, do you believe in God? It's like, nope. And it's like, oh, well, we failed twice. <laughs> <laughs> it wasn't as big a deal the second time. They're like, eh. Can't, so can't win them all or even most of them. You know what's funny? It's like, basically, if like you do something, then like our family just doesn't give a shit. It's like... TJ shot up heroin, so did I. That's kind of... Like, if you do it, it's like, TJ, what are you doing? I do it like... Scotty, well. what I want to know is why the fuck did you write 311 on the side of your parents' oh, house? Oh, man, fuck that, man. <laughs> fuck TJ. TJ fucking carved 311 into the side of our house, and I got in trouble. And they're like, TJ doesn't like 311, so he couldn't have done it. Scotty uh, likes 311, so uh, it must have been him. <laughs> you could have totally set him up for anything. You could have just <laughs> just used anything. Oh, I, oh, he did. I used to do that all the time, because it was like my parents, like it, as long as I made it superficially look as though Scotty had done it, they would <laughs> assume that he did. But wasn't it your uncle that saw through that bullshit? Yes, it was. Yeah. But he was only he was only taking care of us for like... I don't know, a few months. That was awesome when, when Uncle Guy was around. You, know, you tried to pull all your shit, and he's like, TJ, you're lying. And TJ's like, oh, no, I'm not. Shit, this doesn't work. Yeah, and then TJ would get punished instead. Boo. Oh, fuck it. It's a fake. A phony. You're a phony. And if that's phony. why you're watching in between his Justin phony. Bieber diss videos, fine. But take it all with a grain of salt. Look, it's okay to be a human being and have doubts. But you don't need to voice all your fucking doubts, do you? What? Do yourself what? a favor. This week, no don't. freedom of speech. Don't speak what you think. It's okay to think these things, but don't be saying them in public. That don't pissed people like don't me off. Don't tell no one. You got to keep that shit bottled be, be, up inside. That's healthy. Go to a dark corner of your basement and go, there is no God. Then look around. Oh, God. Oh, I think one of the rats might have heard me. Oh, shit. Better burn down the house just T for good TJ. measure. TJ. What? So someone caught me. Scotty did 9-11. Yeah, you did. Oh, no, no, no. It was three eleven. You did three eleven. I did okay. Not nine eleven. He did nine. He did nine eleven too. I did nine eleven too. But yeah, three eleven is the first one I did. <laughs> Osama bin Scotty. Sunday, when you're sitting at your mommy and daddy's table and they're about to slice open the roast, and you can hear them cranking up the wheel of the supper day prayer. <laughs> what? Do yourself a favor. Shut the fuck up. Wow. Unless, of course, you have money to provide for your own shelter. Or you may need your own Patreon account, sort of like the Amazing Atheist, to, so that you can provide yourself with room shelter. Why are they all so butthurt over the Patreon thing, honestly? I, have, I don't know. Be because they don't have the same capabilities of making that money, I guess. Because <laughs> he knows if he put up a Patreon account, he'd get nothing. And it's just, <laughs> just, just basic jealousy. Like, maybe his, his cousin would give him, like, a dollar a month. Right, exactly. Good job. Here's, here's a dollar, buddy. But I think that's even more. I think that's even more lame. Like if you have like one dollar, I think that's even worse. Like that if you have nothing. If you have nothing, you're like, oh well, the, the link doesn't work or some technical issue or something. Yeah. Where if you have like <laughs> yeah, exactly, <laughs> exactly. Oh, I, I think Patreon's messing up. I, I'd really have like ten thousand or something. Right. Shelter, board, food, clothing, all that good shit. A place to lay your fucking head. You amazingly atheist dumbass. Dumbass. One of the problems I have with the amazing atheists is that. <laughs> he acts as if he's never lost anyone in his life. Whoa, whoa, is, whoa, whoa, whoa. Someone, uh, someone has clearly not watched any of your other videos besides <laughs> that one video. Oh, wow. I don't, I'm, I'm, okay, let's see where he's going with this. Okay. Never had someone close to him pass away. For those of us who have, we know what it's like to watch someone leave. We know what it's like to lose someone that we love, and we question Okay, this guy is an ignorant fuck. <laughs> hey, TJ, let us call our father on the telephone. Oh, wait, yes, get him. he is dead. Oh, uh, no one close in my not, life has ever died. Not only did our father die, but I was the one that had to make the decision to fucking pull the plug on him, mm. which, like, basically, like, haunted me for, like, at least a year or two afterwards, mm. wondering if I'd made the right decision. 
And, you know, I mean, there was probably a moment there. I mean, like, I, you know, he talks about having moments of doubt. If I ever had a moment of doubt about being an atheist, it was probably at that time when I did, ad I admit, petition God. I'm like, you know what? If you're real, this is probably the time to fucking show me. And, you know, nothing happened. And I'm not saying that that proves there's no God, because I don't think that anything like that could prove no. there's no God. Mm -hmm. But, you know, if, if, if there ever was a time that tried me enough to even get me to entertain the possibility of God, it was then. Um, but, I mean, to like, I don't, under I don't even understand how this is fucking connected to the rest of the video. Like, what does this have to fucking do with anything? Respect your parents because they'll die, apparently, <laughs> is what he's saying. Okay. I don't fuck him. The reason for it all. All of you people out there contemplating if TJ's got a point. Here's my point. Don't throw stones in a glass house. Hey. <laughs> what? One day it's going to be Wow, you. it oh, came one full day circle. It's be someone you love. Oh, one day you're going to get that diagnosis. And you're going to be wondering, damn, what's this shit all about? And whatever you choose to make yourself feel better, you know whatever what? you need. I want to. I want to say something. I'm not going to. I'm not going to say who this is, but someone came to me the other day and basically said that they um, they'd had an episode where they thought they'd had a heart attack, or at least you know they 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 thought they were dying. Uh huh. And they so came to me and said that they were grateful that my videos were out there because it convinced them to be an atheist, which helped them accept that their sexuality was nothing to be um, ashamed of. There was no God that was judging them for being gay. What? You were and, talking to someone who was gay? Yeah. What's wrong with you? Hang them high. Hang them high. Am, hang them high, faggots yeah, high. Hang them high. No, but I mean, like, the point is, this was a person that was confronted with their mortality, and they the first thing they thought to do was write me and thank me for making them an atheist. So, so, what, so what actually happened to them, though? Uh, it, it, it Luckily, it turned out that so, they, like they had just... Or something? No, I mean, they, 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 it's probably a panic attack. They, yeah, they had had a panic attack. I have those all the time. They'd had an anxiety oh, attack. Okay. Yeah. Um, so... That was the, thankfully the story has a happy end. But I mean, at yeah. the time the person was writing me, they didn't know that. And so this guy is basically talking out of his ass because he's acting like everyone just thinks the same way he does, and they don't. Mm. You know, I don't. I mean, I'm. You know, we're all going to be confronted with our mortality someday. Does he think that oh, the yeah, people who are atheists are just blithely unaware that one day yeah, they're like, going I'm to immortal. die? Yeah, I'm fine. <laughs> I mean, this is just ridiculous. I mean, everyone. Who's ever lived at some point is confronted with their own mortality, like I'm dying. This sucks, or like I'm dying. This is good, or whatever they think about it. It's not just this fucking uh, Christian view of death, where it's like, in a way, it's kind of like it's it's almost morbid. There's a morbid fascination with Christians of death. They're just like, it's good. I mean, and you think they should be happy they're going to die because they're going to be in heaven. Yeah, that's right. what I always think too. They they're always they're always trying to fight it. I'm like, well, gee, we you'll be. You I think yeah, why, why they go to a hospital? Doug you know? Stanhope put it best. Is like if you believe that death results in eternal paradise, why are you wearing a seatbelt? <laughs> mm -hmm. <laughs> to get through that moment in time, have at it. And however you get through, and however you make sense of it all, that's your right. Uh -huh. And there's no reason for anyone to slam you, to bash you. What you just did. To call That's... you a fuckhead, to call you a loser, what to call you... you... That's what he's doing! What, you just what the fuck? Did. What the fuck? What? You just did all you of that. Did all of this. Tim the bartender, you just Jesus. did all of that. Do wow. You not, do, you not, do you not recognize your own hypocrisy? How blithely uh -huh. unaware of his own fucking behavior can this guy be? <laughs> there are a lot of people that really have very little self-awareness at all and this this appears to be one of those people. i don't even know if he has a self let alone self-awareness <laughs> um okay let's move on yeah, you want to move on i'm done with this shit we're moving